Hello everyone and um, welcome to the special episode of my um, drawing marathon journey. So this will be episode 5 and episode 6 because last week Friday I was able to um, record myself about the marathon because I had to do an interview for scholarships. So yeah, um, this is a special edition so we're going to go backwards. So I'm going to start with what happened on day 6, Monday, today. Um, and yeah, so we start off with these notes that I took with Reem Basus, my professor. And uh, we talk about futurism. Um, it's a topic that she loves to talk about. So futurism. And then we're talking about the fourth dimension. Um, if you have a time, try to Google that. It's pretty mind-blowing. And um, it's really interesting the way um, she talk about like the two, two dimension, three dimension, and the fourth dimension. How the third dimension is space, and the fourth dimension is about time. And it's like, even with research, there's like so many things like going on with it, with it that there's no way to understand it all in one sitting. So that was pretty epic. And so today, um, this was a piece that I did. Um, it's pretty large, I have to say. It's like that. And then it says, um, fearless. Um, today was like those um, one of those art days where um, you kind of you keep struggling with your art and then like oh man I felt like I kept failing today. Like, I just struggled like um, trying to make sense of what was going on. So um, today what we did was we had two models in the center over there and then the models will kind of walk around and in the beginning of the stage you want to like capture their movements and then look for shapes. That you um that depicts movement, so that was very really fun. Um, I don't, I at some point I was like, what am I drawing, you know? And I was like really confused. And then the professor was like, good, you know, it's great that you're confused, you know, that's like the best thing. And I was like, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. So this is the product that I did. So after you draw the figures, um, you what I did was I looked for like shapes that I saw in the bodies. So I kind of like focus on their like backs, the back of the figures. So that's what I did, and um, and I really love using color. And in the beginning of class, the professor was like, you know, please do not use color. And then I guess I made her feel bad because she was like, she kind of like you know approached me in the beginning of the class, and she was like, knock, you know, like these are the colors you can use. And she like set some like oranges and reds and browns and then she was like yeah you can use those you know and I was like oh that's awesome I can use color and then using color um, as she had warned me um, my work became really messy and uh, I didn't really like it um, there's like no no like emphasis on a specific area so I was really struggling with that and the really cool thing about futurism um, for this project that we were doing was that we were supposed to choose um, five words that um, kind of means something for us and it can also relate to the futurism. So I used the word um, understructure. So having like un the understanding of understructure or underlying um, structure of your uh, figures or even your drawings and then sincerity, having that um, that really care and the sensitivity in your work. And the next one is being aggressive, just attacking with your art and then, you know, making it bam, you know, like kind of stand out. And then the other word was amplify, it's kind of like hidden now, amplify. And the last word is fearless, which was like the main thing that I learned from um, Reem Basus's um, teaching over the last couple of years. So yeah, this is a piece. I'm not happy with it. Um, it's too messy. There's no like a point where you can kind of focus on. So I was kind of like disappointed with myself. I was like, oh, I'm failing today. So yeah, this is my work. Uh, I'm gonna show you what my other classmate did. They did really great. So this is Andrew. Super cool detail. The thing about Andrew's work is like he has really strong lines and like his shading and his like contrast is really cool. And even his composition is really awesome. Yeah, and this is Corey. It's really awesome. And then this is Sarah, Dan. Dan looks like a, like a, what do you call it? Very organic, like organs almost. Yeah. Ooh, scary. So like, it's really interesting like what um, the other students are coming up with. So this is Alex. And then this is Caleb. 
Um, so we're all drawing the same same thing, like just people moving, and then this is what we ended up with. And this is Noriko, which is very fun. <laughs> and this is Thomas, very awesome. And then this is Kenny. So yeah, um, day six, I have to say I was struggling a lot, like I really didn't know what I was doing, like what is futurism, you know, fourth dimension, all that stuff. <laughs> Alex kept saying like, oh, you know, this, this line here, mm -hmm, it's, it's fifth dimension. And they were like cracking up so hard. Um, it was just so funny, like he kept making jokes. Oh yeah, so this other line, it's like 4.5 dimension. So yeah, um, it was, I was struggling a lot today. Ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm about to go crazy. It's um, 3.30 now. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go outside now and I'll show you what I did on Friday. So this is the episode five of last Friday. Um, what I did uh, with Andrew. So this is what we did. Woo, a rail. Yeah, you can't really see much, but I'll show you a surprise. So as you're walking towards class, so the class is over there. As you're walking there, you're gonna notice some like, hey, what is this like paper thing here? And you're gonna slowly turn. I was like, Shazam! Oh my goodness, what is this? So this is a um, collaboration piece that I did with Andrew. Um, Andrew is an awesome, fantastic artist. And yeah, so we this is an install piece, kind of like a street art almost. Um, and we drew a hand. So and um, so I kind of like. It's like we drew a hand and arm, and on the arm has like tattoos. So it's really cool. Like it changes as you move. So we play with like optical illusion. It's also called anamorphic drawing. So what's really cool about this was um, as we were drawing this hand, we were, like exaggerated the length of it. So by the uh, when you look at it on the side, it will all make sense. Like when you are, if you were to look at it from like the front view, like the arm will be like crazy long, the fingers will be crazy long. But like from this point of view, it works. And uh, it was really challenging, I have to say. Um, it was like me and Andrew were like, ooh, we don't, we don't know what we're, what we're doing anymore. And then using color was very challenging. And Rimba Suez was saying um, how you want to use color very um, carefully so that you um, use it to grab an attention and not in not a bad attention but in a way that will draw the audience in so you can notice that there's like a little color in the middle so like this brown and the brown from the beginning to here kind of like draws you in so that was like really cool um, it was a really cool learning experience like like last Friday like I was really mentally tired like when I like other drawings that I do like I'm just physically tired because you're like moving your arm all day you know doing charcoal like you're guessing your ear and your nose your booger is all black too um, yeah so that was like a really real mental challenge and like she sh um, the, she had a la lecture last week last Friday and then uh, she said something really funny oh, I, f I thought it was really funny and she said that um, using comp complementary colors is suicide and I thought that was super funny because um, all the art professors um, that I met so far said use complementary colors. You know, it's like they are like the greatest thing. You know, and like what Rainbow Suit said really made me think. Like, hmm, I can kind of see like where she's coming from. How it, like those colors can be a suicide. So she was saying how about like example would be like orange and purple. That's like ooh, you're not just puke when you look at it. And um, she said like. You can use complementary colors if you use um, shade darker or shade lighter and then use that to um, make the colors work. So that really made me think. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it for the special episode 5 and 6. I think it's the longest episode I have so far. And that's pretty much it and I'll continue tomorrow. I hope you enjoy it and take care.